principles. There were four principles that Roman gladiators always followed. Progressive overload, periodization, intensity, and finally, is rest. Progressive overload. There is a story that was often told of Milo of Croton, an ancient Greek athlete who lived in the 6th century BC. One of the ways that he was training was by taking a newly born bull, hoisting it up on his shoulders and carrying it for some distance. He would do it every day. As time passed, the bull would grow larger, and so Milo kept on hoisting more and more weight. This culminated with him walking into the Olympic Stadium with a full-grown bull on his shoulders. So, over time, he was increasing the weight he was lifting. This is basically the birth of progressive overload. The ancients knew that if you want your muscles to grow and get stronger, you need to lift heavier and heavier weights. This also makes me wonder if Milo Milk was named after him. Maybe, yes. Periodization. Another principle from the ancient world is that of periodization. Gladiators trained all day and split their training into units of time during which they would focus on just one skill. For example, they spend one hour for boxing, then in that one hour, they only box. Intensity. Roman gladiators did not go into training at full speed at the beginning, but warmed up first, otherwise they risk injury. Also, on rest days, the athlete did not do completely nothing, but instead did something of low intensity. Rest. The cool-down process was also important. The athletes did not fall down and lie on the ground immediately. Instead, they cooled down gradually by walking around. Nutrition. Much like Spartan soldiers ate more sparingly and hungrier, Roman soldiers mainly ate barley, bean soup, dried figs, and moist cheese. But they have one more special food, meat. Barley. One of the staples of the gladiator diet was barley with different forms, such as soup, porridge, or pancakes. They ate so much barley, in fact, that Pliny the Elder called them barley men. Bean soup. Dried figs, moist cheese, and wheat for breakfast were the standard for many athletes. It also seems that beans and cheese were quite popular among them. Meat. Roman gladiators discovered that meat helps athletes grow strong. It became a staple in the diets of many athletes. Since meat was expensive to obtain, a large part of the meat that was eaten at lunch and dinner often came from the venations or animal hunts that occurred in the arenas, together with gladiatorial fights. So the gladiators would often end up feasting on elephant or ostrich meat. Sometimes they were lion and leopard meat, animals defeated in competitions, the ancients also realized the importance of calcium to have strong bones, and they had different sources of it like sports drink. Made using charred plants or bone ash mixed with vinegar, the drink provided a significant amount of calcium to their diet, enabling frequently broken bones to heal faster. In the world of the ancient Roman gladiators, the pursuit of victory was their sole purpose, and their rigorous training was the key to survival. It was a blend of strength, speed and endurance as they honed their combat skills through intense exercises, sparring and the use of ancient equipment like sandbags. From the dusty sands of the playground to the bloody arena, the life of a Roman gladiator was a remarkable testament to human determination. Embrace the spirit of these legendary fighters and discover yourself inside power.